Tai Chi Kung Fu for another amazing presentation of the world of the big rising. Okay, well, and I'm Pierce Corbin from Let London Live and Let the UK Live. And I'm here today to have a specific discussion about building the United Front and actions thereon and also reporting on the by-election I'm going to be standing in. So please, take leaflets and give money. Now there's four things I've got on the agenda. One, building action to win. Two, the United Front 12 principles, as on that leaflet. Number three, breaking fake opposition. And number four, upcoming action campaigns, such as the violence. Now, on building action to win, the first thing to understand now, especially in this era of fake narratives, is that knowing the truth does not mean you win. Millions can know the truth and they will be defeated unless they take action to break the impositions upon them. As an example, as an example, Hannibal knew, everybody in Carthage knew the Romans were evil. They knew it. Yet Carthage was destroyed. Absolutely, totally destroyed. Knowledge will not win you. There's loads of people in the movement saying, look, just spread the truth. No, that is not enough. You can sit for days on your computer typing away the truth, getting followers, but it will gain you nothing unless you actually stop the impositions upon you. We know how the European Union got ready. Creeping up one imposition after another. Just small enough to avoid resistance and big enough so consecutively that they have that tyranny there upon us. Now, the next thing to know is that uniting just for the biggest unity possible does not mean you win either. We can all unite for a happy Christmas. We can all unite for good things. We can all unite for good weather. It will not achieve anything unless you have action. There have been many, many things in history of people uniting for numbers and failing. The general strike of 1926 being an example. The whole working class was on strike. But they did not have a perspective to win. The government said, well, we're not going to give you anything. And the unit said, all right, we're going back to work then. And workers went back to work on reduced wages. That's what happened. It was total defeat. And who was it led by? Left Social Democrats. These people, they'll parade. Look, we're radical. Vote for us, vote for us. But in the end, they're in power and they do nothing but give in to the powers that be. And my brother and all that left opposition to the Iraq war, it was the same thing. Two million marching. And Tony Blair said, thank you. But we're going to war anyway. And what did they do? Well, people blockading the ports to prevent arms being taken to Iraq. Were they invading airfields? No, they did nothing. They did nothing. Unless you have action, you will be defeated. Okay. Now, the key thing about United Action is what I would call a United Front versus a popular front. You see, you can get people on board easily if you support the narrative of the other side. Like if you go around saying we believe in man-made climate change, you've got all that BBC propaganda going for you. And you can draw people in. That's what my brother did in his campaign. That's what Just Stop Oil is. That's what XR is. Draw these people in. But where are they going to go? Once you join that narrative, you will be defeated. Now my brother, in his election campaign, and his election campaign for the leadership of the party, I said, look, you should not be going along with climate change. He said, oh, Piers, we need all these greens. I said, that will be your defeat, because that's what happened. He got forced into the fake narrative of the European Union, the, well, and so it goes on. And so it goes on. The 
the fake narrative starting off in man-made climate change and all that followed. Once he's with them doing things to make those people follow him, the BBC control him and he ended up doing the U-turn on Brexit and that was the end. So understand, any action front, any popular front or so-called, a popular front means you will use bits of the other side to get more support. They will all fail. You have to have a united front of only those policies which can defeat the other side and ignore and refuse to support or work with anybody involved in the fake narratives of the other side. That is the only way to win. So we have these united front demands here which will lead to victory. And we have now lots of pop-up radicals. They're turning up and saying, oh, Piers, we're always with you. No, they're lawyers. Anyone who says that, we say, well, OK, where were you taking down masks from the posters for masking on the tube? Where were you to campaign and close jab centres? Where were you driving at will and not paying against you less? Where were you campaigning to take down cameras and supporting councils taking down the cameras? Where were you keeping cash? Where were you taking children out of school? All these people did nothing, nothing, nothing. Now they pop up like Pied Pipers in order to lead you to nowhere. I repeat, we've got to be very clear about these people. They go out, out, out. We don't want them. We don't need them. You mean and they must out, be out. exposed. <laughs> All right, quick round of applause there. Thank you. Who are we applauding for? Oh. The point that Pete just made. Yes. Oh, excellent. I haven't finished yet. But let's look at the biggest things happening now. Um, we've got the ultra low emission zone extension. And as people know, and ultra low emission zone, I have driven my car and owe £43,000 plus £20,000 extras for moving the cars around the country. Um, well, they want, I don't know what it is now, 61, 91, I'm not sure. Thousand pounds. And Does that affect your credit rating? Without going into details, I think my credit rating is pretty low right now. Have you spoken to Jeremy about Boris before? No. Why later, you? later. Later. But we were talking about um, Yes, so they put my car on sale in, um, in uh, public oh, auctions, yeah. uh, well, uh, business auctions. And uh, then they take it off sale, and then we go there to fetch the car because they promised it, and then they take the car somewhere else. So the car now has been moved from, um, uh, well, Walton Abbey, then it was somewhere else, then it was it's in Camberley, and now it's just been moved to Hereford. Yes, so they spent the you tens of thousands of pounds moving my car around the country when the car itself is only worth 200 quid. <laughs> and you never went it that is far when you were driving it. It is insane. The taking of my car is entirely political. Yes, and we're going to fight to get it back and we want people to give us money or give us a free other car to carry on. Why but meanwhile, meanwhile, everyone should just drive at will and do not pay <coughs> and go into the existing Dulles zone. Because they will not take your car if it's worth less than two grand. There's no point. The, the uh, bailiffs don't have the resources to do that. They're only doing this entirely politically. So I think we should have a bit of a chant on that. We're going to have um, drive at will, do not pay, take down the cameras. Drive at will, do not pay, take down the cameras. Drive at will, do not pay, take down the cameras. I think you need some help on your chance. We probably do. They're not the catchiest. We probably do. <laughs> and before we go on to the 12 points, um, yeah. because we could do this first or last, why do we do this now? Uh, you can come back to it about breaking fake opposition. Very important to know what is happening now. There will be all sorts of fake oppositionists come forward, not just pop up radicals, but we have the interesting spectacle of. Um, 
Nigel Farage suddenly talking about working with Boris Johnson. Piers For what? He's asking to leave to go to the toilet. Can I just ask one question? <laughs> uh, ultra low emission zone. Yes. Now, when I fart, I let out methane, which destroys That's the it. Uh, do I have to have now a special congestion? It depends on what you fart. I think so, yes. Licence to fart. Gerard, how much are you emitting? Okay, so what we've got now, Every we've got reform, we've got <laughs> reclaim, reform and Nigel Farage, <laughs> reclaim <laughs> and Fox, and we also have Andrew Bridgen. People, what? We have Andrew Bridgen, who I respect totally his decisions to go against the gap. Fantastic yes. guy. However, him, Farage, Fox, reform, reclaim are all funded by the same millionaire. Jeremy Hoskin. Yes, the same millionaire. They're setting up a game for us to say, oh, let's have reclaim. Oh, let's have reform. Let's do this to stand against the Tories. Let's have alternative Tories. It's all a waste of space. We don't need these people. They're leading us to nowhere. We can only win by action from the ground below. Did you know? So a quick round of applause for that. Did you know yeah. that in Yiddish, Soros means trouble? Did you know that in Yiddish, Soros means trouble? Did you know? <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay, well, it's quick round of applause for that. Now, maybe I'm talking a lot, but shall I go through the 12 principles? Or first of all, yes. do people want to ask any more questions? Can we have a chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be lovely, sir. I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll carry on with the 12 principles. Now, these are drawn up. Various meetings, the Keep Talking group in uh, in uh, Vauxhall, and uh, Let UK Live meetings, and um, it was launched in Huddersfield on the 29th of April. And the signatories include not just us, but other, other people. Oh. Uh, for example, Jonathan Tilt, who's uh, one of these uh, various radical groups. Um, Gudrun Singh, the Sikh justice people, and so on. So it's a proper united front, and we want more into it. And the point of this is it's 12 basic principles that we believe anyone that wants to represent us or campaign, or campaign for the movement, or fight new world tyranny, must support. And if people come forward saying we do this, let's, okay, do you support these things? So I'll go through them. First of all, pretty simple, and of course there's room for more explanation, but let's just keep it simple. Yeah. Men are men, and women are women. Hey. Oh, no, no, no. What a radical proposition. But already, all the major, in fact, all the parties, in fact, yes, all the leadership are you? against us. Yes. Because they believe I in transsexual yes. propaganda. Yes. They believe in brainwashing children into pedophilia. That is what they do. Piers, are you self-identifying as a male or female this week? Come on, don't be stupid, come on. Okay. You don't be I, stupid, we're here to have a lot of speakers. We are against discrimination against gay people. Of course. Yes. 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 We are against trans propaganda. I don't mind. Yes. 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 Second one, roads are for travelling. Wow. Roads are for travelling. Yes, I think I prefer Jeremy. Okay. But roads are for travelling. However, Sadiq Khan is busy blocking them. Every junction in London now is being narrow, made, made narrower, so you can't drive it. We've got these empty bike lanes everywhere. We've got just complete stupidity to prevent London being actually efficient. Yeah. We've got closing of roads, local yeah. traffic neighbourhoods, sorry, true. low traffic neighbourhoods, in order to force cars onto the main roads, which have already been blocked at the junction, in order to make it impossible to drive. Yes. It is utter monster. Yes. And I will rip down all those You things. do that. And Can I place is... a bet on that not happening? Uh, well, in the case of you, Les, of course, very important. In this coming election, I will be campaigning for the end of Ulez.